Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here, thanks for popping in to check this out. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to scan your computer for viruses using the built-in Windows Defender. Um, this is built into most modern versions of Windows. So I've got Windows Defender or the Security Center opened here. Um, to open that, um, I'll close this, I'll show you guys. Just down here, you should have this icon. Looks like a little shield with a check mark on it. You just double click that or single click it, and you are met with this here. Um, so there's different options down the side here, but what we are going to focus on today is virus and threat protection. So you can either click this or click this here. So once we go into that, you can see right here it is set for quick scan. Um, and generally, that's pretty much all you need. What quick scan is, and I'll show you guys how these are defined here in a moment. What quick scan is, is basically goes through and scans the parts of your operating system or your computer for the most common places that viruses uh, are living. Um, but if we go into here into scan options, click on that, um, you can change what type of scan it's going to do. Um, and like I said right here, quick scan checks folders in your system where threats are commonly found. A full scan will do a complete full scan every file in your system. Custom scan, you can actually just point it to, you know, a certain location, a folder, or even just another drive. Say, for instance, if you had like a flash drive that you thought could be infected, you could uh, choose custom scan and choose that location. And last, of course, is the Microsoft Defender offline scan. Um, but I generally use this quick scan here just to scan those commonly, uh, those, those common areas where viruses could be found. Um, so once we do that, uh, we can go back and just hit the quick scan here. So let's go ahead and quick scan that. And this generally doesn't take too long because, like I said, it doesn't scan absolutely everything in here. But if it does find something, it does a pretty good job of popping up and letting you know and giving you options on what you want to do as far as like remove it. Sometimes there can be false positives where it's picking up on something um, that's not necessarily uh, a malicious virus or anything like that. And it's known, but the system sees it as suspicious for some reason. And you can at that point, if it does detect that and make that make you aware of that you can choose to let it through and all that good stuff so as you can see um it scanned right here at this date and time no threats were found so that's great so we are virus free providing that there's nothing in those particular locations that it uh, commonly finds those um, the other, some of the other cool stuff about this is you, you might want to do this. This is done by itself though. Um, Windows Defender is really good at coming out with new updates for different threats. Now you guys keep in mind that viruses, when it comes to viruses, there are literally thousands of viruses that come out new all the time, you know? So I've heard people say, well, you know, I have you know, this antivirus and I still got a virus and that just means it must not work. And it's like, not the case. It's like, there are so many viruses coming out all the time. It's really hard to keep up with all of them. But Microsoft does a pretty good job at keeping these up to date. So the other thing you can do is just go in here. I'm sorry, let me show you that. The virus and threat protection updates. Just check for updates. Go in here and click check updates and just make sure that those virus des uh, definitions are up to date because if you are out of date on this, um, you could be potentially vulnerable to new viruses that come out. So it looks like it's up to date. So we can go back on that. And a couple other things I want to show you guys, like I was talking about earlier, if it detects something and you think, okay, no, that's just this program and it's fine and you allow it, that will be under here, under allowed threats. Now I have none of that at this point because it's never detected anything that I said, okay, you can allow. But if it had, it would be listed in here. Um, and the other thing is protection history. And what is in here is if you've ever scanned before and it did come up with something and did find something, 
that history would be in here and then you could read all about it up in there so anyway guys that is pretty much it it's pretty simple to use again windows defender it's built into every modern operating system windows operating system and you this eliminates the need to go out and get like norton or mcafee which are terrible and slow down your systems anyway um, this is in my opinion efficient enough it's it's a good enough antivirus uh, for you to run it, it does a really good job of that but anyway guys that is all i have for you today if this helped you out consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing for future content thanks guys have a great day